प्रियंका गुड आफ्टरनून हाय गुड आफ्टरनून i'm not directly you know applying the masking tape i have this paper tape which uh, you know first i cut it according to the to the measure of the sketchbook or the paper whichever you are using and then first apply to my clothes i always you know apply the masking tape to my clothes my hands uh, until the you know stickiness level is kind of low according to the sketchbook because paper shouldn't be get there yeah. Sometimes masking tape doesn't goes according to me, but yeah, I. I'll be using a flat uh, two number number two brush for the background. I'll be using the acrylic ones. If you, uh, मतलब if you don't have acrylic colors or you want to go with watercolors, you can. But. Uh, i'll be using the flash artist acrylic colors the 25 colors pack yeah so i'm using you know for the first shade i'm using brilliant purple and adding white into it i'm adding white for just for the sake of consistency not to go for a lighter shade no i don't want the lighter shade i want the same shade just for the consistency a little bit of white i'll be starting with the first shade Doing the upper layer. I don't add, uh, you know, water much when I start, but when I want to blend, when I want to blend one color to the other, usually then I add, you know, uh, water because I want a little bit of, you know, uh, wet. Uh, I want wet colors to get blending easily. And always remember to clean your brush because of that I always mess up my painting. So yeah. from going uh, you know from one shade to another if the purple color is done we'll be going with the second shade that is pink for that i'm using red the code is 7205 of flash not the crimson red but just the red one and a lot of white see uh, you know it is seen that it hasn't been you know blended properly because uh, the violet color you know it it dried so acrylic colors dry that much faster so i just have you know extra violet color left so i'll be doing it like this here you know where the line matches the line between purple and pink
is everyone done with the purple and pink shade yes yeah so we'll be going for a light uh, pastel orange for that i'll be using flash orange color the code is 7206 and a lot of white also this time we won't be covering the whole area with the same color orange color we'll be just covering both the corners and leaving the middle portion for the sun and the yellow color Middle portion left here. We'll be doing the golden yellow color of flash. The color, uh, the code is seven two zero three. And white. Adding white because I want pastel shades. Okay, so for the clouds, uh, I'll be starting with the uh, upper part, the purple thing. But you know, for clouds, what I'm going to do is uh, here I used all the pastel shades, but for the clouds, I'll be going for a higher color tone. Like for the purple one, I'll be using the violet color of flash that is seven two zero nine shade violet, and a little bit of white in that. uh okay. you know sometimes uh, when you see in the sky there is two types of clouds like you know when you can see the fluffiness uh when there is white over the top and sometimes you just see the plain clouds the waves one uh, we usually we see this these type of clouds you know the waves one uh, on the beaches so as we are painting the beach you know right now so we need that kind of uh, you know cloud system yeah so i'll be using violet and a little bit of white uh i'm using the same flat brush and uh, i'm taking a you know very less amount of color in my brush actually very less amount you know just just for sake of the taking the color i'm taking it in my brush and i'll be just doing random strokes the most random strokes for the cloud because never you know never the sky is same not yours not mine but we all are under the same sky but still so i'm just going to do the random strokes you know you can do small you can do big usually i do big because you know when we go to the beaches uh, the sky is very far from us we, we are you know mostly we are able to see the water and sky is very far it it seems that it is very far so usually i do you know as a longer longer strokes so that you know it sees like yeah it is very far from us in the purple area i am doing it with the violet shade then uh, for the pink one i'll be going uh, light purple light pink sorry for the pink again i am using red and white i am again saying i am using red color not crimson red color because you will get confused in flash uh, you have two shades one is red and one is crimson red so i am not using the crimson one i am using the exact red shade
also i'm doing fast because uh, acrylic colors get dried very fast if you you know if you think that i'm going a little too fast you can just let me know i'll stop uh, right there and tell you the process again uh, till now i have done purple pink yellow and orange shade pastel uh, after that i did the purple clouds which are in a little bit darker shade then i did the pink clouds which are little bit darker shade of the first pink we used after that we'll be going for the orange clouds again orange clouds not in the whole area just in the corners uh not uh, we'll be using orange but a little bit of white because okay. the exact orange is very dark for the you know for the shade we are going so we'll be adding okay. the ultra white Uh, as you can see i am not doing the orange clouds in middle part of the yellow but yes i am doing in the upper part a little bit and in the lower part because i know my sun my the sun's placement is in here the middle one when we did the yellow Uh, if you guys remember, I told you to do the yellow in also a pastel shade, little bit, adding a little bit of white. Uh, I said that because you know um, now I'll be doing the clouds, halke se clouds, I say, with the exact yellow shade without mixing yellow. It won't be seen that much, you know. You won't be able to see that much in my painting because it's on camera. But when you do it in your painting. you know correctly see why i am telling you like i first i did the pastel yellow then i did the exact yellow shade clouds here uh for the sun uh, now i'll be using a zero brush in that uh, the colors i'll be taking is a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange mixing it for the sun uh, i have taken yellow and orange the exact shade without mixing white Uh, and a lot of water it is a watery base color and i'm just doing in circular motions like this ma'am after the sun just place the sun in middle and cover the down area when i'll tell you the water color the okay, you know, the sea color just you know adjust the li a little bit because okay. sun will be exact in the middle like i'm doing here you can see this one yes, yeah so as soon as your circle is over a small circle after this only a half finger place you know should be left uske baad okay. uh, the c will come for the sun the you know this watery color is done now in middle we'll just use yellow just yellow the golden yellow of flash paints in middle and the same circular motion will be going uh if you know if your golden yellow is not showing a difference for you what you can do is take golden yellow and add white if in case you know if you feel that it is same it is not showing me any difference giving me any difference you know as a lighter shade just use some water white and then give like this a circular again it shouldn't be completely white it should be you know having a yellow tint in it anyways like always because you know um, why i'm telling you it shouldn't having you know white color because the middle part would be exact white so we cannot go white now okay so for the c will be going uh, you know for a light purple shade the pastel you know everyone's dream color maybe a bright uh, i'll be using for that brilliant purple the 7218 code 
brilliant purple and a lot of white maybe you can say 60% of white and just 40% of uh, the brilliant purple shade uh i usually you know measure the colors in percentage or when i am not able to you know measure the colors in percentage what i do is take my flat brush if i am if i want you know white more and uh, purple less so what i'll do is i'll take once the purple shade and two times the white shade so yeah these are some basic trip tips and tricks that i use daily i'm going up i'm going for a lighter shade uh, you know from the sky also you will see here i'll be doing the first layer and why 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 i was seeing the you know straight line here i am also covering my last line with this shade please make the quantity of this shade a little you know zyada because ye pura karna hai hame matlab ye pura area same shade se hame cover karna hai what i'm doing now is i'm taking a round brush i took the violet shade added a little bit of white and then doing a straight line here where we started to see and then i'm blending it with my c color because i want very thin line because you know uh, these things is usually you notice you know when uh, uh, when you you know observe things uh, when you observe in the beach uh, it is always seen the lighter shade is towards you and the sea gets darker when it goes to the clouds so the point we see clouds meeting the sea is usually the turquoise maybe when the sky is blue the sea color is dark turquoise where the sky is meeting the sea so i'm doing this line for that purpose uh now i'm taking white exact white and making you know some sections here uh as in the you know these this area is my beach until here in slanting the sea will be there I'll be doing some sections here.
some random sections here because obviously it's C uh, it cannot be same always Now what I'm going to do is take the darker shade of purple and just, uh, you know, just look uh, here. I'm doing a shadow part here for the down one. It gives you a look that this wave is coming to the sand. You know, usually we think uh, a reel is of 15 seconds and yes, the painting is done, but no, it takes one, one and a half hour, sometimes two hours. Uh, the same shadow shade we are taking to make waves and now i'm making waves again random strokes but not big strokes i'm using a round brush of zero number Sir. the line should be straight the line should be thin The waves can cover the white portions that we have, you know, painted firstly, because that is the... Don't fill the whole space with, uh, you know, violet color waves because we need to do the pink one also and we need to do the orange and yellow ones also. So don't fill the whole space. So I'm using a zero number brush, as you can see, a round zero number brush. Uh, now I'm doing the pink one. I'm just making some lines. So, yeah your pink lines now i'm doing pink lines in the middle between the purple lines as you can see it gives you a pink tint in the water uh, why we are doing the pink waves because sky has pink violet orange every color so the waves uh, will be also having the same tint shades always remember the colors you do in the clouds uh, the same or maybe a lighter shade tint is always there in the water. You cannot just do water of one color and sky of three colors. Or maybe sky of one color and water of three colors. No, it should be in a proportion always.
as you can see in my water there is uh, you know more of purple tint and less of pink i am trying to you know increase it now we'll be going for pastel orange i'm doing orange just for you know the tint shade till two fingers not much also now i'll be going a little bit faster not much i'll be waiting for you guys but yes here i'm going with pastel yellow waves till the end the beach part is almost done is if you know everyone is satisfied with the beach so much you know because i like the beach only very pretty i add flowers for you know extra aesthetic but if you are happy with your beaches you can keep it like that also here you know uh, this is not something uh, which is you know very compulsion but here i'm taking you know very light gray color is very light gray and just doing some random strokes to you know just give it a feel of sand will we be painting the flowers as well yeah i'll be painting if you guys want to paint with me you know you feel free yes, yes. you know usually uh, people tell me that you know we is so pretty that we don't want to disturb it oh yeah a uh, light gray color i'm using a light gray color and some random strokes Yes so for flowers we will be taking red just just give me a second now uh, we will be painting two flowers uh, one of red and one of white so firstly we will be taking red uh, i'm just painting a small flower you know it has uh, five petals so you can paint it as you want or you can just see mine also so i'm i'm just you know i have this habit of always you know if i'm drawing a object or maybe uh, some extra things i just do it with pencil first and then i go to paint because you know i am a little bit scared that i'll ruin the whole thing so yeah
uh, as you can see i you know did i did this two flasks this one would be of red and this one would be of white uh, these are just normal flasks one have one has you know five petals the other one has four because one petal is down of the other one the person will be going with red and a little bit of white not much but a little bit you know to give it just a small pink tint if you are not able to see with pencil i'm just giving it a border of pink color so that you know you are able to see the flower Ma'am, can you please repeat for the sand? For the sand, I just use grey color, light grey. Okay. Done with the flowers. Oh, it's not the flower, flower, flower. You know, for the outline, I'll be using crimson red. Till now, we were using red. Now, for the outline, I'll be using crimson red because it it is itself a darker shade. as you can see you know the flower it has a middle that is also same crimson red in the middle can we add coconut trees to this painting um where like at the left hand side uh yes you know you can do here a little patch of sand or a greenery patch and then you can add uh, some you know coconut tree or a one one coconut tree which goes here as a slant and the you know the leaves it is on the sand you can do something like that the other flower is you know fully white so we don't have a option to outline you know for from any other color so we'll be going with gray
and for the white flower the middle part will be of yellow color i'm here i'll be just removing the masking tape see as i told you know uh, the paper shouldn't be torn that's why i apply my masking tape first on my clothes and then on the paper usually ma'am i guess because you know white uh, needs two three layers of painting to be yes. seen my masking tape and i would love if everyone can just show the painting so you know i can uh, take a screenshot uh, also if you are taking a photo please post it uh, if you are posting on instagram story tag me and flash paints together you know i would love to share all of your artworks on my stories all of your artworks uh, also tag me when you post your stories i'm waiting for your stories okay bye everyone bye ma'am bye Bye thank you bye thank you so much bye